Welcome to Encourage and Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encourage from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. Really appreciate the fact that you're uh, taking time to be with us today. You know, yesterday I read something that was quite disturbing. Uh, it came from a Christian pastor and leader, and he said that multiple pastors have been reporting to him the same uh, disturbing stories about some of their church members uh, being upset when he reads or when they read from the Sermon on the Mount, especially the parts where Jesus talks about showing forgiveness and mercy. He said, and I quote, multiple pastors tell me essentially the same story about quoting Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, and then people come up to them afterwards and ask, where did you get those liberal talking points. He goes on to say, what's alarming to me in those situations is that when I explain that I am literally quoting Jesus, the response would be something like, yes, but that doesn't work anymore. That's weak. You know, one of Paul's statements about the last days and how to know that we're in the last days is found in 2 Timothy 4, where he says, for the time will come when people will not put up a sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. You know, frankly, we are living in that time. People do not want to hear about things like forgiving your enemies or honoring those in leadership over us or even basic things like tithing and being faithful to the church or whatever. Those things are considered too intrusive. We want to hear things that make us happy. We want to learn things about how to be successful. We want to promote self-righteousness, live according to our standards, do the things that we do and, and you you'll be right. You'll be okay. And we hear this kind of preaching and teaching and, and read those kinds of books. And that's what we hear a lot of. You know, as a pastor, my instruction is to preach the word, all of it. Uh, all scripture is inspired by God, the Bible says, and it's God breathed. Uh, and it's valuable for instruction in righteousness, not just the parts we want to hear. So again, my challenge to you this week and encouragement is to you, pray, pay attention to the word of God, to read the words of Jesus again. You know, if you haven't done so in a while, go back to the Sermon on the Mount and read it slowly. Let it impact your thinking and your actions. See how countercultural it is to today's way of life. Uh, you can't be a follower of Jesus and just fit in with what's going on in the world today, or even in the church in some places. Jesus prayed to the Father, set them apart through your truth. Your word is truth. Go back and read the longest chapter in the Bible again, Psalm 119, and note the emphasis on the word. Get involved in a Bible study of some sort. Um, in this confusing world, we need to know the truth, we need to understand the truth, and we need to live out the truth of God's word. It's so important. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word and thank you for your truth. Your word is truth. Speak truth into our hearts as we study it, as we understand it, as we seek to live it out every day. I pray your blessing upon your people as they hear the truth of God's word wherever they are today. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch. This is important stuff. I pray God's blessing upon you. I trust you have a great day. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another encouraging word. Take care.